Colin here to show you how to do the most important neck stretches as fast and easy as possible. So the first one we're going to do is for the trapezius, one of the two muscles that lifts your shoulder blade up. What I'm going to have you do is grip underneath of a chair with your hand like so, lock your elbow straight and let your body hang toward the opposite side. You should start to feel a stretch in through here, between here and here. And at this point what I'm going to have you do is start tipping your left ear toward your left shoulder. You're going to take it as far as you can, then you're going to take your left hand and bring it up over to your right ear, and you're going to gently pull toward that left shoulder. And once you're in that position, what I'm going to have you do is very lightly push your head back the opposite direction, as if you're trying to bring this ear back toward this shoulder, your right ear toward your right shoulder. You're going to hold that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Let it relax and pull your head a little bit more toward the left. Do that three times. Then you repeat the same thing on the other side. Notice that my, when I'm doing this, my head is facing straight forward. The next exercise is for your levator scapula, which is the other muscle that lifts your shoulder blade up. So again, you're going to grab under the chair. And again, you're going to lean to the side. But this time, you're leaning your head as far as you can to the side here this left ear toward the left shoulder, and then from that position I'm going to have you turn your head and let your chin come down toward your chest as if you're looking into your left pocket. This is to stretch out the right side. From this position I'm going to then have you bring your left hand behind your head. I'm going to have you gently push down as if you're trying to bring your chin more toward your chest. As you push down and get a little bit of pressure there and feel a good stretch, I'm then going to have you push your head back this direction into your hand for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then just let your head drop more forward. You're going to do that three times. Now when you're pushing back, when you're resisting, I only want you to use moderate pressure. Don't overdo it. Light to moderate pressure, maybe 20% of your strength, 30% at the most. So then the last exercise is for your scaling muscles. So what I'm going to have you do for that, again, I'm showing all these on the right side, then you would repeat them on the left side. You're going to grab under the chair like this, again, leaning so that you get, what we're doing is we're anchoring this whole shoulder to the chair so it can't move. Then I'm going to have you bring your fingers, put them right on the top of your collarbone here and pull down. Now this anchors in the muscles through the front of the neck. And you're going to have your head turned as far as you can to the right. You're going to anchor in here with your fingers lean toward the left. From this position I'm going to have you then turn your head as far as you can to the left. Hold it there for about three seconds. Relax. See if you can lean a little more toward the left, pull down a little bit more, and do that three times on one side, three times on the other. That is your neck workout. It should drop your shoulders down and it should get the front of your neck elongated so that your head's not being pulled forward. 